Hello beautiful people of the world, welcome to my channel. My name is Shay and today's video is going to be all about cardstock ideas to make with your Cricut. In this video we're going to be talking about cardstock projects you can make and sell with your Cricut. So let's get right into the cardstock content. Number one is cards and envelopes. I feel like that's probably the most popular one to make with cardstock. Number two are little boxes or little gift bags. You can make that with your cardstock on your Cricut. Cake and cupcake toppers are really popular ones that I see for sale all the time and they do really well because people could really add anything and personalize and customize the way they would like. So that is a great one to sell with your cardstock. I see a lot of people do it with glitter cardstock as well, so that is something you might want to think about if you are thinking of selling those. Banners. You can make little banners, whether that be for a party or really whatever. People can do different themes or just different wording on them. I think this is a great one and again, I see these all the time for sale and they do really well. Photo booth frame and props. This is a popular one for parties and you can make the props and the photo booth I actually did this for my mom's 50th birthday. I'll put a picture right here and we had little props and we had the whole photo booth thing set up. It was super cute. Honestly, this was when I was just starting out with my Cricut and I was brand new and just kind of figuring it out, but it was a lot of fun and you could really, if you're more advanced, get really into this and make a good amount of money on this. The one I made was just with a little cardboard cutout that I just stuck a bunch of cardstock that I cut. As advanced as you might be, you can go all out with this. Paper and cardstock, flower and succulents. They look great in shadow boxes and they also look great just on their own. You can make the small versions or the very big versions of these flowers that are like wall decor, super cute. Signs, so you can actually use cardstock and make signs with this cardstock, whether the sign is literally just cardstock and you're layering it, or if you are taking a sign and adding cardstock to the sign. 3D decor. I've seen so many versions of this, but essentially you're just layering the cardstock and it's making some type of 3D image or decor for your house. I've seen like the fake animal heads, like there's been like a moose head or like a unicorn. There's been things like for Christmas where it says joy. Care labels. So for your items, if you're selling mugs, if you're selling cups, Sometimes people are literally just looking to buy care labels from someone. Maybe they sell items themselves and they would like to include care labels in their products. I make this with cardstock and what I use is the pen and I just write out the care instructions on how to take care of it or wash the item that I'm selling and then I don't have to pay for care labels. But a lot of people actually look to purchase care labels from other vendors for the items that they themselves are selling. So they might buy like a stack of them. And this is a great thing to make. And if you're making your own products, why not make your own care labels as well? Stencils, you can make so many different kinds of stencils for your projects, whether you're painting over top of them, making those mats and things like that. So uh, cardstock is a great way to make a super great stencil for your projects. Photo frames. For my daughter's nursery, which was dinosaur themed, I chose a few different dinosaurs that I liked. I put the cardstock and the dinosaur was cut out in the middle of the cardstock. And what I did was I just put it in photo frames and it was beautiful nursery decor. Later on, I also sold these for a little bit and they did really well. So just colorful cardstock and you can literally do whatever you wish with this. Now, it doesn't even have to be the cutout of it. You could cut out other things and stick it on top of it. But I really like the simplicity of just having a colored cardstock stock with the dinosaur cut out. It was super cute nursery decor. My last idea is the larger than the mat project and essentially it is where people are making those big like Paw Patrol decor for you know birthday parties or Cookie Monster or Elmo, whatever character you can think of and it's larger than the mat or bigger than the mat project. So there's layering and it's big and it has like cardstock and you're just layering all these beautiful cardstock to make a gorgeous image and People use this for decor, they use it for really anything, but it's big for parties. I do see people selling these and they're very popular. I know I personally have made them for my daughter's birthday and it was really popular. That is it for my suggestions on what to make and sell with cardstock with your Cricut. What suggestions do you have? What is sold best for you? Or what is your favorite cardstock project or Cricut project in general? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all quite soon. Happy crafting. Bye.